Hindustan Times in association with Vivo organized the Vivo Ignite Science and Innovation Awards. The event witnessed more than 3,000 registrations, over 1,000 idea submissions and the smartest 10 innovations made way to the grand finale. Akansh Bansal, who is in grade 11 right now, successfully secured third position nationally with his project FWWA, that is Food and Water Wealth for Animals, in the concept category and was awarded the whopping prize money of 2 lakh. He is a rock star already. So we are here to have a guftgu session with him and our director principal, Miss Chalini Nambiar. Over to you, ma'am. Okay, good morning, namaste. A very warm welcome uh, to this new episode of Guftagu 2023-24. And um, extremely excited because sitting next to me is Akansh Bansal of Class 11, who was awarded recently the Certificate of Merit for being the national third prize winner in the concept category with his project Food and Water Wealth for Animals. And of course, he won a whooping two lakh rupees. That's awesome. Um, so, um, Akansh, Tell me a little bit about it. It's so exciting. So first of all, thank you, ma'am, for the introduction. So my project was intended towards directly for the animals. It was basically for the forest animals as well as the sweet dogs and the cows which are not able to get the food. Mm -hmm. So basically, it was a whole machine which would first detect the animals uh, through the medium of sound and sense. Okay. And then it would dispense food and water in different pits created beneath it. Mm -hmm. So for water, I connected it to the groundwater so as to ensure a fresh supply of water, which is quite not uh, possible uh -huh. today. And for food, there was a tank with a sensor which would sense the food level. Okay. So ultimately, when the animal was detected, the food was just dropped into the uh, beneath pits. And mm. being the pit of a soil, the food was ultimately being uh, working as a humid rich uh, thing for the soil as well. Okay. So it was not harming even the nature and mm. was fulfilling the requirements of animal as well. Oh, that's really exciting. I mean, you know, because I'm a dog lover and uh, we feed a lot of dogs in our Vasant Kunj and Gurgaon. So how did this idea come to you? You know, what actually... Uh, uh, so I, uh, in the recent cases, I had come across like the Venezuela where animals had a lot of food, but the water they had was completely contaminated. Right. Moreover, uh, in the recent times of all the societies, I'd seen dogs and uh, cows, they were eating plastics and just roaming mm -hmm. around for people to get food. But yeah. they were not able to get that. And yeah. then the whole Amazon forest was burned. There yeah. was nothing for them. So mm. these all sites really moved me and that got the idea of FWWE. That's really, really nice. How was your experience? I mean, there must be all other projects. And how yeah. did you feel when you were, it was announced you are like number three national? I mean, it's a big thing, right? Yeah, it was a great mm. feeling. Like earlier mm. in the starting, it was quite a scare, uh, frightful thing. Like who would be the winner and all your... Uh, hold the life you have gone through uh -huh. one of the major events I, it was uh, uh -huh. I participated in and it was a mesmerizing uh, feeling for me at that point when I was called on the stage uh -huh. so tell me something how long did it take you to work on this concept uh, it took me around five months I first participated in an another event which was sure. uh, Inspire Manak and won another 10,000 rupees in that okay, okay. then it, this was Vivo Ignite it took me a whole event of uh, three months mm -hmm. in which I prepared the whole project display boards and uh -huh. all the video concepts and that was all so it must have been very exciting. So t tell me one thing, because see, my philosophy and I uh, now I'm old, I can't say I'm new to your school, is that children must, uh, you know, should be encouraged to participate in different kind of activities rather than just coming to school and studying. So I want you to tell me so that the other children also hear. Um, when you were working on this project, naturally, you must be compromising on your study time. Yeah. Do you feel that it impacted your uh, this thing or no? Uh, 
I feel it somewhat impacted, but there was not a major impact. Uh-huh. Uh, study is one side, but implementation of those studies is quite required in this current era because, like, just mm-hmm. mugging up the things is not w- gonna work out in this yeah. area. Yeah. This is the world of competition where people set out to uh, for different ventures, mm-hmm. and that ventures only come from when you implement the knowledge you have right. and create projects and just Im- showcase to the world. Yeah, yeah. So my marks didn't when go down much, but. Uh-huh. It was fine. Like I manage both studies as well as this project. Okay, that's amazing. That's amazing. So tell me one thing, um, just out of curiosity, and of course I'm excited. How, what are you going to do with your two lakh rupees? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have not touched the thing, but I'm gonna just invest it <laughs> for my future studies mm-hmm. because I aspire to go into wow. IITs and. Mm-hmm would like to invest it so that at the time I go into IIT, I have the amount to, to pay up my admission fees mm-hmm. and not be a bundle for <coughs> my parents as well. Okay. Well, that's amazing. I'm sure your parents are very proud of you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so tell me something. What were the other projects which you saw there and which some of them might have made you like, you know, I, I really want to know how was this thing like? So there were <coughs> many <coughs> lot of projects which were completely of different fields. Some yeah. were of the medical fields where mm-hmm. uh, it was to put uh, people from the uh, corona time and mm-hmm. somewhere from the like the oil uh, droppings like there was a marima project okay which was to separate oil and water from the oil leakage that was happening oh. in the industries mm-hmm. and furthermore there was uh, things mm-hmm. for women's mm-hmm. sanitary health right and uh, also for accident detection mm-hmm. so different different spheres projects were there and mm-hmm. most of them also won yeah Oh, great. So tell me something, this innovativeness, of course, it's a skill, right? Where we, where we are ready to think out of the box and deal with the problem which is existent in the society and which I think you've done. I wanted to understand more now this, whatever this concept of yours. Now, you said that when the, the machine is going to detect hmm. if the animal comes and the food will drop. So how does that work? So the food will be already there or how does it, how does the thing work? So the whole uh, device is based on a, a system, small mm-hmm. system, which is called Raspberry Pi. Okay. So there's first of all, th- uh, there was a sensor that would only detect animals through its mm-hmm. brain. It would drop the food. For food, there would be a tank placed on the head, uh, okay. on the head of the t- uh, uh, whole machine. Sure. So there would be a sensor in the, of the lid, which would detect the food level, and it would send the message to the government portals to mm-hmm. refill the food when the food is below the current level. Okay. So when the animals would detect. Uh, the food and water would be dropped in the bill given pit. Down. Excellent. So why why don't you? So how are you wanting to take this forward now? Because this is excellent, and I think so it's the need of the society right now. I have the aim to deploy this project at all the national, international, and as well as the global li- level, uh, along with in all the major housing societies mm-hmm. uh, for animals, so that the even the residents are not disturbed, yeah, yeah. and even the d- dogs are able to dogs and cows are able to get the nourishment. Right. So you're looking for how are you planning to go ahead? Have you made some plan, or you're uh, now focusing on your studies? Yeah. And now that? I'm focusing on my studies because that's crucially relevant and well uh-huh. for me to go into IITs and all. Right. But but I think. It's it's a, it's a great thing and I think uh, let's sit over it uh, you know maybe uh, next week because I really feel we can help you and I would love to see this whole thing where, where is it exactly uh, that was a concept okay, I so have to deploy it in prototype you have to deploy yeah. you haven't made a prototype no, no, yet not yet so after 12th you will do yeah. it right wow that's a, that's great I think you deserve a big hand I'm really really proud Thank of you, you. So tell me one thing, um, they were, uh, you, I, I read about you that the event witnessed more than 3,000 registrations. So it yeah. was all over India or? Uh, uh, it was all over India. Okay, okay. And you had people from, children from even remote areas or what was your experience like there? Uh, I, children from remote areas, there were, uh-huh. some were, but mostly were from this Delhi and area only. Okay, okay. So that has been really like an exciting yeah. event. Okay, let's have some fun. So fun round. It's called the rapid fire round. So I'm going to ask you some fun questions uh, because I know you are going to go to IIT and I wish you all the best. So which IIT? Let me ask you first. A Bombay. Oh, wow. Mumbai. Mumbai, yeah. <laughs> so you must go and visit, I think, the IIT Delhi to get a feel because it really uh, gives you that experience. Yeah. You know. Yes. So I wish you all the best and I'm very confident. I'm sure you'll do it. Thank yeah? you. Yeah. And uh, then you intend to do what after that? Uh, then after B.Tech, I intend to do M.Tech mm-hmm. along with uh, some major degrees. Uh-huh. Like that was my plan and I, would further I decide just... it 
Yeah, I just love it. The youth today is so planned, focused, and let me be honest, uh, Akansh, it's very rarely you meet children who have a clear-cut plan, what they want to do, where they want to go, so a big hats off to you, you know, Thank really. You. I think uh, your parents are going to be very proud of you. Yeah? Thank you. Yeah, I'm sure they are, right? Yeah, they are. Yeah. So who's your favorite, mom or dad? Both. <laughs> okay, let's go to the rapid fire. Ants so or cockroach? Cockroach. Cockroach. Why? <laughs> they scare me a lot. <laughs> they scare you a lot. Okay, pizza or burger? Pizza. Pizza. Oh, any day. Which pizza you like? Uh, Farmhouse. Farmhouse. Wow, my favorite too. Okay, blue or red? Blue. Blue. Why? I blue don't know. the that. royal color. Yeah, royal color. <laughs> <laughs> and blue is the Jaipuria color, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, movies or sleeping? Sleeping. Sleeping. Wow. Studying or playing? Studying. Studying. I knew it. Yeah. IIT people only say studying. They don't say playing. <laughs> <laughs> but do you do any physical kind of, uh, are you into it or you go for a run or do something? No. Start doing it. Yeah. Because it's very important uh, to be physically uh, this thing, alert, which will help you to focus more uh, on whatever you are doing. Right. Yeah. Because all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Yeah. <laughs> Right. So tell me something. Uh, you've been in the school since how long? Since the uh, beginning? I'm since the nursery. Since yeah. beginning. So what are the two things you love most about your school? First of all, like I love the most is getting appreciation for what you have won. Like uh -huh. in most of the things I have, I have other friends in different schools uh -huh. where they told that they have not got the required appreciation which they uh, want when they uh -huh. achieve something. So Absolutely. which I loved in Jaipuri that I, when I've, each and everything that I've got, I have mm -hmm. been praised for that. And a whole lot of things have been uh, coming through that. And moreover, I also learned for the learnings. Yeah. Like in the 10th, I had not taken any tuition. And through the wow. learning for Jaipuria, I have, I hope to do very, very well in the boards. I think this is excellent. And this has been my aim ever since I've come. I've been telling all the parents, all the children, don't send your child for tuitions because Jaipuria will give your kids the wings, the roots, whatever is required because teachers here are very helpful. So that's a really nice thing you said and I'm very proud of you and thank you so much. And without tuition, you've won this, right? So that's yeah. a great achievement and he's done well in his academics also. So all the best, Akar. And um, uh, we God bless you and we are very, very excited. Proud of you as a school. Thank you. And uh, you want to say something? You want to ask me something? Uh, no. <laughs> no? You don't have any question for me. How come? <laughs> so will my dogs get the food? Yeah, sure. Okay. okay. Absolutely. So thank you so much, everybody. Akansh, three chairs for you. You're a rock star. Thank you thank so you much. Mom. Thank you. Stay tuned to Radio Spark, the voice of Jeopardy.